I mean, look at this fish in the water. I mean, that is gorgeous, dude. Hey guys, this is Deep Master, and I am here on a roadside pond. Well, not pond, a little river. It's a little creek that comes through, and there's like two or three little bitty holes where the bass like to hang out. The water's kind of ripping right now, so I'm gonna hopefully catch a couple bass for y'all. Um, little backstory, we're under a bridge. Um, this, I have no idea where this water really comes from, but we're gonna try and catch some bass in it. So, see ya. Hey guys, so to take a little break from the fish, and I want to thank today's sponsor, all right? Today's sponsor is clappingcheeks.com. They have all of the raid gear that you possibly could need, anywhere from freaking hoodies all the way to pouches to transport aliens in on the 20th. So before September 20th, go to clappingcheeks.com and get you some freaking raid gear, all right? Back to the video. All right guys, so the canal bite is not really working today. So instead, we're gonna go to a private pond and we're gonna wait till dusk and start throwing big old 13 inch long worms on top of the water. Hopefully we get us one. So what I'm doing right now guys, is I've got a big giant 12 inch worm uh, with a four aught hook with no weight on it. And basically I'm trying to simulate like a small snake or a frog because at night they they can see it But they really they just want to kill it. You know what I mean? So we're gonna throw on every single bank line I'm fishing in about like Maybe a foot of water Hey guys, so guess what I just caught right here. Ooh, is he bleeding? I don't know. Big old nice like five pound bass. So we're gonna let her go. There's another one right there swelling. So basically what I was doing is running a big 12 inch worm on the surface. We're gonna see if we can't catch another bass just like this one. Look at that dude, That's a huge bass. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna release her and make sure she's okay because 
she was bleeding and I just want to run some water under there make sure to get all that stuff out so it doesn't clot because once she gets in the water she's going to be fine like she has white blood cells just just like we do she's going to be able to uh or I mean you want it to clot my bad um so it stops up and creates a uh, scab and eventually she won't even have a mark where this hook was the hook wasn't really that far deep in her it was in like you know where their tongue is and then there's that one little like line it was in that line and I set the hook pretty hard because I missed this fish like three times um so she's pretty calm right now I mean look at this fish in the water I mean that is gorgeous dude that's exactly what we're looking for when I'm stocking these ponds which very shortly if you guys are watching this video be tuned for one video we're gonna be uh, be going to my farm that I stocked Cust like I custom stocked it I made sure that every single fish had like a hundred million fish a year to eat did all the math and everything and we finally got it so we're gonna let this fish go There she goes. That was freaking awesome, guys. So look, we're gonna try and catch another fish real quick before the sun gets down. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and like this video and comment how big you think that bass was. Uh, see ya.